Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We will start with a new project series where we will create the contacts app in Jetpack Compose using the room database and MVVM. Let me show you. This is how it looks. It's a basic contacts app where the user can add a contact with an image, name, phone number and email and all of these are saved in the room database. Let me show you. And then, then you can retrieve the data from the database and display it in a list format. You can also click on it to see the detailed view. We have saved the image, name, phone number and email. Also, you can edit the contact by clicking on this floating action button. And it is updated. Then you can also delete the contact by simply clicking on the delete contact button and delete it. Now let's create the project. Open Android Studio. Choose Empty Compose Activity. Name the app as the Contacts app. And then the app functionality was easy to understand. Now let's talk about the technical part. As we are using the room database and MVVM, so we will be required to create view model and then the room database components such as entity, DAO and database. Also, we are supposed to create multiple screens such as display screen, add a contact screen, detail screen and edit contact screen. All of this will be designed in Jetpack Compose. Got it? Plus, we will learn how to select an image from the gallery, how to store an image in the room database and also how to display it and so much more. Now, the project is quite big, so obviously it won't be covered in one video. Hence, I have divided the project into six videos. Starting with our first video, prerequisites. Prerequisites include colors, theme, drawable, gradle dependency and Android manifest. So, let's start. Please use the latest version of Android Studio. I am currently using Android Studio Jellyfish 2023.3.1. Alright, go to color. Add green JC color. Whose code is 3FDC85. And then, then go to the theme. Add green JC as the primary color. And then, now we need to add few dependency in Gradle. So follow me. Go to the Gradle module. Add all the dependencies as shown. We have Navigation Compose for navigating. Then Coil Compose for retrieving images from the Room Database. Then Room Database Dependencies. And then Lifecycle and Live Data for MVVM. Now, if you are using an old version of Android Studio, then this dependencies will work. But in the latest version, you are supposed to convert them in version catalog format. Like this way. And then, I tell you something. In the entire project, I am sure that you won't face any errors. But this is where you will face the most errors. Why? Because your Android Studio Gradle versions and Kotlin version will be different from mine. So there are chances of errors. Hence, we need to be on the same page. How? I will provide Gradle code in the description box. So compare the code and make sure using the same versions. Okay? Like use Gradle version 8.8. .8. So if yours is different, then you can change it from the project structure. Also, I am using the Kotlin 2.0 version. Likewise, these are all the versions that I am using. This is a version catalog where all your dependencies and their versions are saved. Here, I will manually create a plugin for KSP and Compose Compiler this way. And then, now you can access them here in Gradle Module Plugins. 
and done. Also, we need to add both of these plugins in the Gradle project this way. And done. Now click on Sync Now. And done. If you face any error in the Gradle, then compare the code and use the latest Android Studio as well as latest dependency versions. Okay. Next, we will add four icons which we will use on every screen's top app bar. These are the four images that I created. Contact icon, contact detail icon, add contact icon and edit contact icon. So let me add them quickly. And then the last thing that we need to do is to add permission in the manifest. So go to Android manifest. We will select images from the gallery. Hence we will require permission to access photos. So add read media images permission. And then our prerequisites are done. In the next video, we will set up the room database. So stay tuned for that. For now, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.